As you may know, Peter Dinklage has openly expressed his dissatisfaction with how Game of Thrones, the show he famously starred in, concluded. Specifically, he criticized the character arcs and endings of Daenerys Targaryen and Jon Snow. When asked by Kimmel about those controversial final seasons, Dinklage was straightforward in his critique, stating that the writers really screwed the pooch on that one. He felt it seemed as if they didn't even try during those last couple of seasons, completely ruining excellent characters like Danny and turning her mad without justification. As for Jon Snow, he said, don't even get me started on how badly they butchered his story. Kimmel, trying to lighten the mood, jokingly suggested that perhaps the writers just ran out of good material after they wrapped up Tyrion's story so well in earlier seasons. This brought laughter from the audience but didn't amuse Dinklage. He shot back, saying they should have brought in new writers with fresh ideas instead of sticking with the same team that clearly lost the plot. Things took an unexpected turn when Kimmel asked Dinklage about rumors that he and his wife had grown close to Meghan Markle in recent years. Dinklage seemed to tense up at the question, replying, I'd rather not get into personal matters if that's okay. However, Kimmel, never one to shy away from good television, pressed further, mentioning tabloid reports of a visit to the Sussex's California home. After a long pause, Dinklage sighed and said, All right, look, my wife and I met Megan a few years back, and yes, we hit it off. She seemed really nice, but that was before, well, before she showed her true colors. The audience gasped at this revelation, prompting Kimmel to lean in, eager for more details. Dinklage continued, saying that Megan initially came across as a down-to-earth person who genuinely wanted to help others. However, as he got to know her better, he realized it was all an act, everything was about image and perception. He recounted an incident where they hosted Megan for dinner, and when she discovered that the vegan potato gratin had cream in it, her reaction was over the top, as if they had personally offended her. He also described an instance where Megan questioned his publicist about his charitable work, suggesting she was looking for ways to copy him. The whole thing felt very calculated and performative, he said, emphasizing the lack of genuine compassion. Dinklage expressed concern over how she treated Harry, saying, the guy is obviously totally whipped. Everything revolves around making Megan happy. He found her disrespectful towards him and concluded that he wasn't a fan of Meghan Markle anymore, feeling she was using Harry for fame and fortune rather than genuinely wanting to help others. The audience was left stunned by Dinklage's passionate rant, while Kimmel appeared thrilled, barely able to contain his excitement. Well, Peter, you certainly didn't hold back there, Kimmel said. That's not the perspective we usually hear about Meghan Markle. Dinklage replied, maybe it's time people started seeing through the act. She pretends to be a champion of women and diversity, but behind closed doors, it's a different story. The woman is toxic. I try to keep my personal life private, but when it comes to the Sussexes, I can't stay silent anymore. After the way she treated not just Harry but people like my wife, I feel obligated to speak up. Someone needs to call Meghan Markle out on her BS. Kimmel looked pleased, saying, Well, Peter, I think you've certainly done that tonight in no uncertain terms. This has been one of the most fascinating interviews I've ever had. Thank you for sharing your true feelings.